He hasn't been in the ring with Rocky in a while, but he's still pretty busy. Here's what Cole Weathers has been up to since his iconic turn as Apollo Creed. What do you think you know about me? Weathers poked fun at his most famous post-Apollo role on Saturday Night Live in 2003, reminding everyone that he will indeed be forever remembered in the popular imagination as the black guy in Predator. 1987's Predator was first and foremost an Arnold Schwarzenegger film, but it was a big deal for Weathers at the time, proving he could be a formidable presence on the big screen with or without Sylvester Stallone at his side, which is likely why he soon found himself headlining his own action film. 1988's Action Jackson could have launched Weathers into superstardom as the first film in a lucrative action franchise, but the film's failing production company was sold off, and the film was universally panned, primarily for dialogue like this. Barbecue, huh? How do you like your ribs? But Weathers had high hopes. He told Bullseye in 2009, yeah, people loved Action Jackson. I get asked all the time, are you ever going to do a sequel? I still maintain today that it could have been a better movie had we taken a little bit longer to develop the screenplay. But a lot of people liked it. In Germany, it was huge. Weathers tried his hand at being an action star once again in 1992's Hurricane Smith. Think a low-rent Action Jackson set in Australia. But it wasn't huge anywhere. And it's best summed up by the alternate international title, Dead on Delivery. Weathers wasn't necessarily known for his comedy skills when his agent steered him toward Adam Sandler in 1996, but Weathers soon found himself in Sandler's Happy Gilmore playing Chubbs Peterson, a former pro golfer who was forced into retirement after an alligator bit off his hand. Tore one of that bastard's eyes out, though. Look at that. <laughs> You're pretty sick, Chubbs. The performance showed the world a different side of Weathers, which led to further comedy roles, including on one of the best sitcoms of all time. Although he's only appeared in a grand total of four episodes over the course of the five seasons, so far, of Arrested Development, Weathers relished the opportunity to get a little goofy by playing an exaggerated version of himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's still plenty of meat on that bone. Now you take this home, throw it in a pot, add some broth, a potato. Baby, you got a stew going. Series creator Mitchell Hurwitz had originally contemplated going in a different direction with Bizarro Carl, one which could have involved a parody of Rocky and Apollo's beach run in Rocky 3. But when he asked Weathers if he had any thoughts, Weathers suggested that maybe he could be really cheap instead. Hurwitz told Vulture, It was so much better. I went back to the writer's room and said, You're not going to believe this. Carl Weathers wants to be incredibly cheap. All credit to Carl on that. After his career in the NFL, but before he became king of the morning shows, Michael Strahan took a shot at sitcom stardom with Fox's brothers. Weathers played Strahan's dad and told the Times Picayune in advance of the show's September 2009 premiere, You see a contemporary black family that expresses itself with a bit of edge. It's an edgy show, but at the same time you see the love. Unfortunately, the love wasn't shared by the viewing public. By the end of December, Fox had already bid adieu to the brothers. If you're an old-school cable box channel surfer, you've likely spotted Weathers popping up on plenty of shows, from voice work on the Cartoon Network to character roles and award show appearances all across the dial. After spending a season playing Josh Holloway's partner on USA's Colony, Weathers added a new series regular credit to his name in 2017. Introduced as state's attorney Mark Jeffries in an episode of NBC's Chicago PD, he reprised the role on Chicago Justice and an episode of Law & Order SVU. That isn't the only role keeping him busy lately either. Weathers also popped up in an early episode of CBS's rebooted Magnum P.I. in 2018.